All right, Miles, let's talk Big Ten football again. This time let's talk about the Wisconsin Badgers, obviously moving on from their head coach in the middle of the season. They went with Jim Leonard as their interim head coach. A lot of questions about, is he going to be the full-time head coach? Are they going a different direction in the offseason? Well, reports are coming out that they aren't going in a different direction and that Leonard will have his interim tags removed shortly and become the full-time head coach of the future for the Wisconsin Badgers. This is according to outkick.com. Uh, I'm going to read here from their article. Well, Wisconsin will officially name Jim Leonard the permanent coach of the Badgers in the coming days. The Badgers officially posted the head coach job opening after beating Nebraska this past weekend. The program must wait seven days before officially hiring a candidate due to state hiring regulations. So this is a clear sign, according to outkick.com, that Leonard will, in fact, be the head coach for Wisconsin going forward. He has done a heck of a job with his Badgers program, uh, kind of turning the program around after a tough start, heading them in a new, younger, more exciting direction. And I'm curious what your thoughts are on this, Mice, but I want to hear from Badgers fans in the comment section below. Let us know what you think. Were you happy that Leonard is going to be the full-time head coach of the Wisconsin Badgers? Would you like to see him actually go a different direction? Let us know what you think in the comment section below, how you feel about this potential, very likely hire of Leonard being your head coach going forward. Let us know in the comments. But Mice, uh, what's your thoughts of, of this Wisconsin program? Uh, yeah, Nick, this is a Wisconsin program. You know, they've won three of the last four. Uh, they're, they're on upswing. Uh, it's a team maybe it hasn't performed quite as good as they want to six and five on the season four and four in conference uh, but nonetheless uh, there's some hope I think you see some you know some moxie I love when you get a new young coach in the mix especially a guy like Leonard uh, former NFL player uh, you know he, he can relate to the guys on the field he's been there he knows what they've been through I really love a player's coach uh, I think that that word gets thrown around a lot, but this uh, Leonard really does strike me as a player's coach. He's been there. He knows what they're going through. And this is a Wisconsin team that kind of needs to be brought back. You know, we miss the Monty Ball days, Nick. We miss the days where, you know, Wisconsin was putting out elite rushers. You know, the Melvin Gordons, the, the Monty Balls, the rushers that were just so, so, you know, Wisconsin-style football, hard-nosed defenses, uh, running the ball, Nick. And, you know, we can put them back up to the top of, you know, Big Ten West. I think this is a guy that can do this. Uh, he can take charge of this. Uh, and, and if you look at it, Nick, they're really not that far off. Uh, the top of the Big Ten West is 7-4. and four. That's one game difference for Wisconsin. And they're right up there with Iowa, Purdue, Illinois, and Minnesota. And, and nonetheless, Nick, they go play in Minnesota for the last game of the season. So they have a chance to potentially be in the mix there. Uh, but, you know, that's what I'm saying. This Wisconsin team, not that far off in the Big Ten. Uh, obviously, the East, a little bit more overpowering than the West. But, you know, nonetheless, this Wisconsin team, there's something to work with there. And I like getting, you know, a young, inspired head coach in the mix and see what he can do. Yeah, because one of the questions with Paul Christ, the former head coach now, was the recruiting, right? They're all kind of rumors of the recruiting staff and and how they were struggling to actually build a full program using recruiting as the pipeline. Because it's Frankly, what you have to do in college football, obviously, you have to have a strong recruiting network and recruiting coaches and everything to get the players in, especially the reality is when you're in the Big Ten, you don't get a lot of the guys to go to maybe, obviously, you don't get the guys wanting to go to L.A., you don't get one of the guys to go to the East Coast or not Texas with a big name notoriety. You have to have a deep recruiting network because, you know, it's you versus the Iowas versus the Northwesterns versus the Michigans, Michigan States, Ohio States, and all those guys kind of for the same hotbed of talent there in the Midwest. It's just a much more competitive recruiting game. So you have to have that network in place. And, and Chris, by some reports, did not have a good enough network in place, to put it mildly. Leonard's a younger guy, right? He obviously played big time NFL. He's got a lot more energy, a lot more, you know, pizzazz and spark to this program that I think will allow to drive some interest. It's sort of a poor man's Deion Sanders is the way I'm going to think about it right there. He is a former defensive back for the Baltimore Ravens, so I guess you can make that connection there. But there is an element to having a former player of the program and obviously a very good player and went on to play in the NFL he, you know because he can obviously connect to the players relate to the players he can also kind of drive in recruiting maybe steal a player from Michigan Michigan State or potentially even Ohio State you know just for that connection alone depending on how that goes again it's going to be really pivotal as it is with every program to get recruiting under control but the fact that they actually won games like you alluded to kind of got themselves back in the top of the ranking shows he can be a good in-game coach too so i think it just makes sense for both sides both recruiting and in-game to go with leonard here all signs pointing that way and i think it's a great decision by this wisconsin badgers program yeah nick and i think there's a couple of things that you alluded to like the recruiting hasn't been great uh per 247 sports 
You know, this recruiting cast is ranked 62nd right now, 135th in transfer portal. It's pretty low. A lot of three-star yeah. <laughs> recruits, nothing more uh, than outside of that, just a couple of three-stars, which, you know, for, uh, I would say, a pretty high-level program in Wisconsin. You'd want them to have a couple four-stars, a couple five-stars guys coming in. Normally, right? This is, yeah. This yeah. is normally a top 15, top 10 program. Yeah, they've got to have more than this, and they can have more than this, Nick. And like you said, this is a guy, like you said, I love the Deion Sanders comparison. Uh, you know, a guy with a lot of spark, a lot of energy. Uh, he can relate to a lot of kids in this program. Uh, he's been to where they want to be. He looked up to them kind of like a role model, Nick. And, and this is a team that, you know, has been producing NFL talent. You look at uh, Leo Chanel from Kansas City. Uh, he's a starting linebacker over in Kansas City right now. So they're they're producing top-tier talent. So I think the, the difference in the recruiting game isn't too far off either. So, you know, talent on the field, almost there. Talent in the recruiting class, it can get there. All you need is an inspired young head coach. So I love the move. Uh, I want to see how it pans out in the coming season. And this is going to be a team to kind of keep your eye on for the coming season. Though.